here we are in the backyard where lots of chores would be done. Uh, laundry day would have been a really big, busy day. Think about all the steps it would take to do laundry. First thing, you'd have to heat the water up over a fire. You'd have to haul that water, put it in your wash tub, Of course, you'd have your basket of dirty laundry. You'd pick up that laundry and put it on your washboard. You'd get the laundry wet first in that wash tub. Set it on the board. Grab your homemade soap had to make sure you had soap available or you'd spend three days making that. Swipe the soap on your washboard, put the soap back in the dish, dish drain over there, and scrub, 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 scrub. Using those washboards, that's how you'd get the dirt out, the grunge out. Once you think you're scrubbed enough, You'd put the laundry back in the water, do a quick little rinse, wring it out, squeeze the water out of it. And then this second tub is your rinse water. You'd have to get all the soap out of it. Any soap that was left in and dried on the clothes would end up being really stiff and kind of itchy. So you had to take the time to rinse that soap out. Once you think you got all the soap out, You'd wring the water out again and put it on the line to dry. Now, this is a little bit windy today to be doing laundry, but sometimes you couldn't be so too picky. It's a nice sunny day at least. Now, being a pioneer, you would maybe just have two sets of clothing, possibly three sets of clothing, and that's it. Being a woman, I'd have lots of aprons. The apron protects my skirt. It takes less material to make. And um, your apron can get nice and dirty. It's easier to wash. Let's head over now and beat some rugs. Now here we have a rug beater. You can see it's just a thin piece of metal with a good handle. And why you had to beat rugs, this was how you got them clean. This is how the dust and the dirt was taken out of them. All right, all right, enough for one day. <laughs> That's how the dirt and the grunge got out. No vacuum cleaners. The next chore we'll check out is we'll do some woodworking. You can head over here. Here we have our woodworking site, and think about how the pioneers used wood. Um, their cabin was made out of wood. Their furniture was made out of wood. They used it for heating their house. They used it for cooking food, heating up water. Um, it was really, really important that you knew how to use the tools so you could have the wood to survive. Um, we have a couple different saws that we'll show you. The first one is the buck saw. Now the parts of the saw, the wooden part that he's holding on to is the handle. You have the metal part, which is the blade, and down below are the teeth. The teeth are the sharp part of the saw. Now the buck saw is used for one person, or is used by one person. 
And you just let the saw do the work, going back and forth and back and forth. Now imagine if you had to do this for all your hot meals, all your hot water. It takes a lot of work. All right, we'll let that one go. Now we'll show you the two-person or cross-cut saw. <laughs> now checking out this saw, same thing. We have handles, blades, much bigger teeth. Um, and this saw, look how much longer it is. That means you're doing half the work because it's twice, three times as long. You're also doing half the work because you only pull the saw. Watch what happens when you push. Uh, and then, not a good thing. So, all I have to do is just pull. You can see how you get a good rhythm going. Makes things go nice. <laughs> and smoothly. <laughs> All right, that's good. All right. Two more pieces that we'll show you. Right down here, this hand drill that we have is called a bit and brace. And this would be for drilling holes. You push down from the top and let, as you turn it, it drills down into the wood. Um, this would be good for putting uh, pegs in and things like that. All right. The last piece I'll show you, think, the last piece I'll show you is the draw knife. Now the draw knife is just kind of a large blade and that's for taking the bark off of things, or doing other things, uh, shaving other things. How about you stand over here? Thanks. All right. So as you're pulling it towards you, so those are a couple of the tools that every pioneer would know how to use. 